Arm's new school should keep students separated by gender. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And your reasons, hmm? It's true that Florham has established an equal rights law. Men and women can both make their homes here. And the Sacred Flower Festival isn't just some beauty contest for girls anymore. Now both genders can compete with their inner beauty. Yes, yes, yes! And doesn't all this support the idea of boys and girls learning together? It's not that simple. Change takes time. You can't just throw away years of tradition like yesterday's leftovers. Look, Florham used to be a haven for women and women alone. Then the duchy showed up and the nation was thrown into chaos. Finally, that ugly period of history is over and peaceful days have returned. Florham can't afford to... Heaven, you say? A future where boys and girls study together, laughing and crying and falling in and out of love. That would be true, Heaven! That was quick. I'm still talking here, okay? What was that? Huh? You looking for a fight? Or maybe a fight's looking for you? Mr. Lear, did you hear what she just said? Superintendent Lee is proposing that the new school should be segregated by gender. She did now? But well, that's a bad thing, right? Of course it's a bad thing! If boys and girls aren't allowed to study together, then... then... then all the awesome manly words like burning and passion and pecs will be cut from the school's name! What?! You'd go that far? Oh, that's low, even for a girl. Yes, it is, isn't it? Lower than low. That's why we have to stop her. Even if it comes to fisticuffs. Sounds about right to me. All right, then. But I'm putting my money on these muscles right here. Yeah. I'm the holder of the monk asterisk. You got that? Here to wipe the floor with ya! Yeah! 
almost impossible! Uh, 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 best two out of three, huh? Forget about it. Oh, come on! Why well, you gotta be so cruel, Lydia? Yes, yes, yes! Very cruel, very cold, and very commonplace. That she is. Yes, yes. <laughs> Fine, then. We're out of here. Come on, uh, uh, Betty. How many times do I have to tell you? It's sweaty. Sweaty tracksuit. See you around, idiot. Sorry? Was that... Oh, my, my, my! You're the one in favor of separate education for boys and girls, aren't you? Oh, I've heard all about your stance from Superintendent Lee here. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Your ideals have thoroughly impressed me. Oh, yes, so splendid. Splendid ideals. I'm quite committed to establishing Florham's new school with the genders divided, as nature intended. I can't thank you enough, ma'am. And, um, what of Mr. Tracksuit? Will he be joining the faculty as well? Ah, I see. Oh, yes, I do. It's only natural. <laughs> yes, it is. All that time fighting with each other, passions high as you fought for your ideals. Love blooms on the battlefield. <laughs> oh, what a joy. Don't let the good ones get away, my girl. Go running to his side right now. Go, go, go. Y yes, ma'am. Hmm. Do you think I chose... The right side? I'd say so. I mean, look at all the happy faces around us. Yeah, I guess so. I'd say you have a future in education, Idia. Perhaps I should come work at this new school of yours. Don't you start teasing me too. My tenure as interim superintendent ends today. Besides, what would you even teach? Where to begin? Physics, ballistics, aerodynamics. All the subjects necessary for taking to the air and descending with force on an unsuspecting foe. Whoa, that's some pretty heavy stuff. And you expected any less of me? I expected something... different. <clears throat> I have a message here for Miss Anheria Venus. A message? From whom? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's just hear it. Yes, 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 she says it doesn't matter. So let's hear it, Prima, out loud, if you would. Yes, ma'am. Allow me. Dear Ianheria, I hope this letter finds you well. I must say your request has moved me. I would be delighted to have you as a student. I will instruct you in the womanly arts of flower arranging, tea ceremony, cooking, and of course how to manage a household of your own. <laughs> huh? Uh, that's quite enough. Consider the message delivered. No need to read any further. Worry not. I promise that with time, we will make you into the kind of woman that any man would be proud to marry. Yours truly, the Matriarch of Florum. Wait, when you said you were here for your training... Yes, yes, indeed! It takes true training to be the perfect bride. You mustn't neglect your feminine side. Don't you worry about a thing, dear. I believe in you. Yes, yes, yes! Even you can find a husband someday. <laughs> I'm here, you wait! Maybe you should let her go. After all, an honorable warrior knows when to show mercy to the defeated.